I'm sure that most of you are aware that we live in a universe, but as it turns out, we may not live in the only one. In fact, there may be many, ranging from near-carbon copies of our exact universe to unmistakably different ones. To see why, we need some background on the way our universe functions. In physics, there are two primary divisions of how things work. The first is Newtonian physics, which is also known as classical mechanics. The second is quantum physics. Newtonian physics applies to the types of things we can observe with our own eyes, such as a thrown ball. If we know the classical state of the ball, its position, velocity, and acceleration, we can accurately describe what the ball will do as time moves forwards. Quantum states apply to quantum particles, the behavior of which as time moves forwards is based on probability, which is determined by the particle's wave function. The wave function of a quantum particle is comparable to the classical state of a non-quantum object, i.e. its position, velocity, and acceleration. If you know the wave function of a quantum particle, you can calculate the probability of how that particle may behave as time moves forwards. However, measuring the particle's behavior at any point in time causes its wave function to collapse. This is loosely comparable to observing a freeze frame of a thrown ball. Without knowing where it came from, how fast it's traveling, and what conditions it exists in, we can't know where it will go. We simply know where it is at that moment we are observing. In. The perspective that anything in life can be based solely off probability is quite unsettling, but it gets even more mind-boggling when it applies to the many wells interpretation of quantum mechanics. This interpretation is best explained through the Schrodinger's cat thought experiment. The experiment goes as follows. Suppose you put a cat in a box, alongside a radioactive particle, a radiation detector, and a container of poison. The detector is set up such that if it detects radiation from the decay of the radioactive particle, it releases the poison into the box, killing the cat. Whether or not the radioactive particle decays or not is determined by its wave function. Remember, the outcome is based on probability. Since we have no way of knowing if the particle decays until we observe it and thus collapse its wave function, it's generally considered to be in a superposition of both resulting states, simultaneously decayed and not decayed. Now, note that the condition of the detector, poison, and cat are dependent on whether or not the quantum particle decays. Since the quantum particle is in a a superposition of decayed and not decayed, the radiation detector is in a superposition of triggered and not triggered, the poison is in a superposition of released and not released, and the cat is in a superposition of alive and dead. This is called quantum entanglement. By opening the box, you are sure to observe one of two possible results. However, by observing the result, we are simply interacting with the system, and thus entangling ourselves with the experiment. After all, we're made up of particles just like the ones that comprise the cat inside the box. Now, you're in a superposition of observing a dead cat and a living cat. It's clear that if you were to perform this experiment yourself, you would know that from your perspective, only one of the outcomes occurred. But does this make the other outcome any less valid? In fact, it does not, as the other outcome occurred simultaneously in a nearly identical universe that split off from the one you were currently existing in. See, by becoming entangled with the box, all the air molecules and photons around you became entangled with you, and everything that these air molecules and photons interact with become entangled with them. In a matter of no time at all, the entire universe becomes entangled with your experiment. This is called environmental decoherence. Now, there is a universe containing you observing a dead cat and you observing an alive cat. Congratulations! By simply opening a box, you created an entire universe. But don't feel too special. There are an uncountable number of quantum particles all around us, and each one of them goes through the exact same process of entangling itself with the universe, all of which decohere, and the universe branches off for each decoherence. So, in conclusion, there are many, possibly infinite, universes existing simultaneously, ranging from almost no difference at all to large differences from the universe that you are currently experiencing, assuming this interpretation is correct. This brings a whole new meaning to the saying, be the best version of you.